Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be comparing an IST degree versus a CS degree. So I know most of you guys know that I'm currently working in cybersecurity. I feel like anyone who is going into tech at some point has considered the pros and cons of going for their IST degree or a CS degree or the more common route is starting in CS and then eventually switching over to IST which is exactly what I did. So I wanted to share some background on that choice that I've made and how that's impacted my overall career and what things look like after going graduating, your internship opportunities, job opportunities, continuing education if you ever want to go into grad school or, or even a PhD program, as well as just overall experience with your classes. So a little bit of background, when I first got into college, I was actually a nursing major for a very, very short stint. And then because I didn't want to be undecided, I still wanted to have some kind of major because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I decided to go into computer science, honestly, because I heard that comp sci degrees make the most money after you graduate college. And that was really the reason why I was going to college in the first place. So I want to be fully transparent with you guys on that. So I was a CS major for about a year and then I switched into IST. And then in my sophomore year, I switched my major into information science and technology or IST. Now this is actually a very common route. In fact, so common that people call IST majors CS dropouts, which technically is pretty much true. I went to Temple University and I graduated in the class of 2019. So I've been graduated for about four years now. And just upfront, I want to say that I don't think there is a big difference between the career trajectory of a IST degree versus a CS degree based on my experience and based on what I've seen. Now, obviously, if you want to go into AI and machine learning and you're trying to get into a grad program, you know, that's where maybe there's some friction, some friction if you have an IST degree because you probably don't have the math credits or the math requirements that are needed to go into that graduate program compared to a typical comp sci major. But as someone who went to college specifically to find a good job after graduating with just my bachelor's degree, I currently don't have plans to go for my master's degree. But just in terms of job opportunities, I think that they are pretty much equal. In my school, IST majors actually took a lot more hands-on classes that were more relevant for jobs and internships compared to comp sci majors. Now, of course, every school is going to be different and I'm not bashing on comp sci majors. I think both majors are great and it also depends on what you want as well as the courses that you want to take. So that is just kind of on my experience. I don't think that one is necessarily better than the other, but they definitely do both have their pros and cons. And I think one of the most important things to know is the difference in their courses. So of course, this is just speaking from my experience as well as what I've seen from other friends of mine who have majored in IST compared to CS in other schools. But IST majors typically still do code. Although the languages that they're learning are probably a little bit different from comp sci majors, where IST majors are probably going to take Python, Java, C sharp and CS majors may still take Java, but they may be learning C or C++. CS majors are more likely to learn lower level languages compared to IST majors. And they may be taking more theoretical classes like higher level algorithms classes. They may also have to take more general math classes like Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, GVQ, whatever math requirements are required for CS majors, as well as discrete math and probability and statistics. Now it's not to say that IST majors don't take any math courses. From my experience, CS majors typically we really had one extra course requirement for every math class that we took. So if we had to take up to Calc 1, they had to take up to Calc 2. If we took Discrete 1, then they probably had to take up to Discrete 2. Obviously, this is not a hard and fast requirement, but, but from what I've seen, CS majors do tend to take more math classes than IST majors. And then that was actually one of the big reasons why I switched from CS to IST. But of course, those math classes are going to be important if you decide to use your CS degree and go into something more technical that requires math, like data science, or an area of tech that is more complex. But personally, I really preferred IST courses just because of the fact that we had a heavy focus on full stack development. So by the time I was a senior in college, I knew how to build an application from beginning to end with front end, back end, the database, making connections to the database, making sure everything works, drawing behavior diagrams. We did all of that and that in itself was really helpful when I when I started looking for internships because this is the experience that, that interviewers are going to ask about as well as the fact that IST majors typically have more interesting electives in my opinion. Um, for example, my electives were, were quality testing and assurance, project management, digital forensics, which by the way was one of my first ever glimpses into cybersecurity in college, uh, UX design, 
and the CS majors typically had more mobile development, more in-depth courses on, on data structures and algorithms, as well as other more theoretical courses. Now in terms of internships as an IST major, I feel like from my experience as well as what I've seen from, from my friends and classmates that also majored in IST, we really do have very similar job trajectories, at least at the internship level, because of the fact that starting out, we all have to take Python or Java as well as a data structures and algorithms course. That is a hard requirement for my school for both of these majors, but I do think that more IST majors tend to go for internships that may not necessarily be software engineering related or coding related, even though it is still obviously a possibility. A lot of IST majors that I knew wanted to be business analysts, data analysts, um, project managers, UX design. So there's definitely a broader range of people who choose to go into IT because they want to be in tech but don't necessarily want to code hands-on every single day compared to CS majors who I would say more than 50% of CS majors that I knew wanted to be a software engineer or go into data science and machine learning, which is which is a whole nother thing. I do think that my IST degree did prepare me for internships as well as my coding interviews. It may not have been as in-depth as a CS major who may have experience with lower level programming languages and it really does also depend on the company that you go into. For example, a big tech company may prefer a CS major over an IST major just because even if your coursework is very similar, but personally, when I was looking for internships, I was looking for a technical and non-technical. So that meant software engineering internships as well as data analyst roles, business analyst roles. I was really casting a really wide net because again, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So I was pretty much open to anything and I didn't feel that my IST degree really hindered me compared to a CS degree besides when I was trying to apply to bigger tech companies where, where most of the time, at least when I was applying, they would typically prefer a CS major over an IST major. But again, this may look different now with people who are graduating boot camps and going directly into big tech. So honestly, I feel like it really depends. And in terms of career trajectories, I do think this is one of the important areas to talk about because because it's more than just going into that first job it's also about how fast that you're growing how fast that you're moving up in your career how you're able to pivot from one job to another or maybe go from technical to non-technical or non-technical to a technical role and honestly in this conversation i would say that your degree really does kind of stop mattering after you get some years of experience for example no one really asked me about my degree what classes i took if i took a data structures or algorithms course in college nowadays no one really cares about that they're looking at they're looking at my job experience on my resume in fact a lot of people move education down from the top of their resume to the bottom or the middle after they work for a few years because of the fact that it just becomes a whole lot less relevant compared to the actual work experience that you've gained throughout the first few years of you graduating college. So after I graduated college, I actually went into cybersecurity, which is which is probably what a lot of you guys know me from, my cybersecurity videos. And if you guys are interested, I do have a video on how I got into cybersecurity, as well as how I was able to graduate and find a six-figure job after graduating with my degree in IST. But yeah, after graduating college, your degree and the exact major that you study definitely becomes less relevant so I wouldn't really worry about it I would more so focus on the kind of jobs the kinds of jobs that you want to work your career directory after graduating college is more so focused on how often do you switch jobs do you negotiate your salaries are you working remote or are you working hybrid or in the office what sectors in tech are you working in are you working in finance are you working in healthcare are you working in government are you working for a defense contractor are you working in big tech you know, these are the things that are really going to matter a lot more than what exactly you majored in. It's kind of the same with GPAs. When people say after you graduate, no one's going to ask for your GPA because the work experience itself is way more relevant than what your GPA was or what exactly you majored in. Now, of course, this will look different if you decide to if you decide to go for your master's degree or go for a PhD program, then in that case, your major and your GPA will most likely matter. But just purely talking in terms of work life and the types of jobs that are out there for you, how you can pivot, that really does go back to your work experience as well as the skills that you pick up after college and the certifications that you may get for whatever sectors that you're working in. All right, so hopefully this was helpful to you guys. For anyone who is deciding between choosing an IST major or a CS major, I really think that they're both win-wins because, because even with the tech recession and 
layoffs that are happening that have been happening in the last few months i still think that tech is a good sector to go into and even with all this happening it's it's really unlikely that the internet is somehow just going to go away and humans will no longer be using technology i really think that this is only the beginning and there's definitely going to be ups and downs but but you can kind of see it as ups and downs but still going towards an upward trajectory so hopefully this video was able to provide you guys some insight if you are deciding or on the fence between while choosing your major in college thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye